Hello YouTube and welcome back to my playthrough of GTA 4 and if you guys enjoyed this series please do drop a like on it but on today's part we're gonna be doing Uncle Vlad one of my favorite missions of all time. Hey what's wrong? Hey cousin. Bullshit. What's bullshit? Mallory. Oh what about her? I like her. I really like her. But you keep messing around with other women. <laughs> yeah. No. I think she's messing around with Vlad. I, I saw his car parked outside her place the other day. Yeah. You knew? I had suspicions. You fucking knew? What was I going to say? You knew my woman was banging this warthog and you didn't do anything? I didn't, didn't say anything? I didn't know. You're an asshole, Nikobelik! A disloyal user! After what I did for you, you dick! You fucking dick! I'm sorry! Screw you! All right, so you want me to deal with it right now? No. Sit down. No! I'm not going to stand here and have you call me disloyal. You might let some Russian oh. asswipe bang your woman, but I won't. But you fucking did! That was before I knew you cared! You always were a hypocrite. Nico, wait. Don't do anything stupid. Wait for me! <coughs> Tell me you're just blowing off some steam. You're, you're going for a little drive. You're going to leave Vlad alone, right? Cousin, this is crazy. We got each other. We don't need women in our lives. I'm getting tired of Mallory. She's too old for me anyway. You have been pushed around too much, Roman. You let these people use you. Use me. They will not use Mallory as well. She is too good for that. She's too good for me. Vlad should have her. I will show Vladdy what he can have. So basically what's been going on is Vlad, remember the um, Russian mobster that loaned Roman money, um, he has been um, hooking up with Roman's girlfriend, Mallory, and this has upset Roman. Remember what Vlad mocked Nico over it, too. Wait, Nico, you have to think this through. Stay out here. Let the big boys have their conversation inside. Let the big boys have their conversation inside. Now, this is going to be good. This is one of my favorite cutscenes. Anyway, I I'd like a word with you. What are you doing here? Did I summon you? Why? I told you to stay away from Mallory. Ah, go away. And now Roman is upset. Oh, Roman is upset. Excuse me. Do you think I give a fuck, peasant? Oh, there he is. Hey, fatty. I'm so sorry you're so upset. Oh, fucking ho. Hey, Vlad, can't oh, we just talk about this? You stay away from Mallory. I must be hearing things. I could have sworn for a minute this ratty little yokel told me what to do. <laughs> Did you hear that voice? Yeah. Now, get them out of here. Come on, come on. Get back outside, Roman. Get back outside, Roman. <laughs> Don't let Vlad escape. And I just love those effects when you like hit the cars with bullets and you kind of see like the bullets scrape off. All right, he's running away. We win. Let's go home. I'm not walking away until this thing is finished. It is finished. He's running. We won't see him again. He'll come back. The only thing that will hold him down is six feet of dirt. Forget about Mallory. Plans change and, you know, when Vlad is done with her... Go a fucking spy! You think Vlad won't come after us when I am chasing him like this? I have to end it. Here and now. Shit! I don't like this! Fuck! Fuck! Damn you! Ah. Keep your head down. I'm going to finish this. Stop, Nico! Shit! Here we go. One of the best scenes in the game now. You've killed yourself and your cousin, Yokel. 
You are dead man. Fucking Yokel. You think you can get away with killing me? I guess I'll find out. You think this is worth it? You are throwing you and your fatty cousin's lives away for that bit of Puerto Rican chocha. I'm throwing your life away, prick. We'll do all right. My friends will track you down. You won't last I'll last moment. longer than you will. I'll last longer than you will, shithead. <coughs> Fuck you. I wish I could be there to watch Mikhail cut your peasant balls off. You've killed yourself and your cousin, Yokel. You are dead man. I remember a lot of the lines in this game still. Mikhail falls in thought of me as a brother. He will get revenge. And you had these um uh, executions. The you will be crashed. In um in the old GTA in you GTA 4, you had executions. If you had a pistol equipped, you could you trigger a cinematic man. kill on a lot of the characters. This didn't happen in GTA 5. Of me as a Watch this. He will get revenge. Hope Beach is a small place. My friends will find you. No, oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> Oops. You were the stupid one, Vladdy boy. Nobody fucks with my family. Ah, you're a big boy, Vladdy. Hey, go! Ah. Well, I guess this is over. What have you done? What does it look like? We're dead! No, he's dead. We're fine. He has powerful friends. Serious people. I told you to be calm, you all did the jump! I am calm. He tried to kill us. He screwed your girlfriend. Mm. What do you expect? I give him a massage? <laughs> shit, shit! <sighs> when I was in the army, we were going on the mission. To ambush a squad would kill a lot of innocent people. They were our enemies. But we never did it. There were 15 of us, all boys from the village. But one of us betrayed the group. It was a setup. For money. Twelve people died. Three escaped. I know the traitor was not me. So for ten years, I've been searching for the other two. One of them leaves here. Why are you telling me this now? Do you always get sentimental after you kill people? You kept asking. Wonderful! You're here on some revenge mission for something that happened ten years ago? And you don't care whose life you ruin anyway. No. Well, what? I don't know. I just want to know why they did it. Well, right now, I don't think you're going to find out. Let's hide the body, at least for a while. Put him in the river. <sighs> if he'll fast, he's going to kill us. Uh, shit. We should get out of here. You go. I'll catch up with you later. <sighs> And that's it for Vlad. So you see, the story in this game is just so um so good, and it's so much darker. Like you know, I don't I don't want to keep comparing it to GTA Five, but like I said, like those executions that you had with the pistols don't didn't exist in GTA Five. So I just, I love this game just so much. This is my favorite GTA story. And the war that Nico is talking about, that is actually the Bosnian War, um, uh, which Nico fought in over 10 years ago. And so, basically what happened was, um, a squad of enemy soldiers came into their village and had killed, um, killed all of them. There was 12 of them, um, and killed, killed 9 of Nico's friends, 
and then what actually happened was um, uh, Nico and two others survived, and Nico has been trying to find a traitor ever since, and one of the um, one of the survivors actually lives here in Liberty City. It's one of the reasons Nico actually came here. Oh, we got a call from Roman. Nico, Nico, are you there, cut? Roman, I'm here. What are you doing? Why do you whisper? I am on the vessel. They're past Draco. Come, Nico, quick! Okay, let's go to Roman. Just great. Here we go. Crime and punishment. Oh, this is another great mission. Where are you, Roman? Psst, Nico. <laughs> Roman, what are you doing in the dumpster, man? Are they there? What are you talking about? Get out of there, man. I'm freaking out, man. I'm being followed. I saw them. Don't be ridiculous. You're being paranoid. I'm be... Fuck you! Fuck you! Everything was fine, and then you show up, and now we're dead! Because Felston is a psychopath! He's going to kill us! Because we killed Vlad! Vlad was his man! That's how it works! You kill their guy, they kill you! Roman! Get out of there, man! Listen to me. Vlad was a piece of trash. They don't care about him. All they care about is making money. So, we say we work for them. Now get out of there, you smell like cabbage. I don't want to, man. I'm shitting myself. Oh! Get out of the dumpster, Mr. Fat Man. Come on, Fatty. The boss the wants, boss a, little wants a little chat. The boss wants a little chat. What I like about this GTA game is that they show the Russian Mafia a lot. A lot of other games you see the Italian Mafia, but here you get a good view of the Russian Mafia. Wake up! <laughs> we had to gag him to stop the screaming. You shouldn't have brought them here, Andre. Why not? You've been a bad boy, Mr. Balkan. And the boss is not happy. Oh, no. I shit my pants. Not yet, but you will. Who are you working for? Uh, my cousin, Roman. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. That's not good enough. I'm gonna saw off your fucking arm. Speak! Okay, okay. You're dead like sit of the ass. What do you want me to say, huh? <laughs> Very funny. Do you think you're so smart? No! I tied up in the basement a long way from home, but some ape threatens me with a hacksaw. So no, I'm not that smart. Shut the fuck up! My fucking wife is watching television! Good lord. What are you doing? Nothing. I mean, I was finding out who he is. And? Who is he? He is his cousin. He is his cousin. You were about to cut up some guy in my house. Making all that noise to find out he's his cousin. Where did you find this idiot? He was a friend of your sergeant when we were in Vladivostok. He's an imbecile. So, Nico Belli, you think it's okay to kill my employees? If he is an asshole, yes. <laughs> Do it! Ooh. I agree. <laughs> asshole, look at me like I'm a piece of shit. Bozomoy. <laughs> now listen. Nico Belli, you are very lucky Vlad was an idiot. The only reason I keep him around is because I fucked his sister. Look at me. You owe me. I got some dickheads in my neighborhood trying to run a shipment, yeah? And we found a buyer for the TVs. Yes, a buyer. But you got to get them for us so we can make the sale. Can you untie Roman? Хорошо. Shut up, Roman. Shut up. Roman, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Roman is so stupid. Roman, shut up. Shut up. Stop shooting people, you maniac. My wife doesn't like when people shout. Whatever. You better get those screens soon. Or I will personally pull your cousin's stitches out. One by one and watch his gut spill onto the floor. Clean this shit up. Listen, we'll take care of your cousin. But you better get a police car. And then you call me. Roman. Roman. Go. 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 I, I'll take care of him. Fuck. 
So, you know, how stupid is Roman in that situation? How stupid is he? The Russian mob boss ties you up in the basement and then agrees to let you go. And the first thing that you do when you, your mouth is on gag is you start screaming for help. How stupid is he? Oh, man. So you need a police car in this mission, but you don't have to go far. Um, this cop car stops for some reason, and the cop actually goes to investigate the backyard. So uh, just wait till the cop stops here, and um, and just wait until he runs to the back of the house. That way you don't he doesn't see you do it. I don't know what he's going to the back of this house for. Okay, I think we're good now. I have the police car. What now? The van is driving around South Broker. Pull it over, take it to our lockup on Duke's Drive. Be more specific. How many vans do you think there are in South Broker? That is a problem for you and your cousin. Not me. Keep pulling vans over until you find the TVs. Goodbye. So we have to pull over the vans. And I, I, I don't think you can pull over the first um, uh, right van. I think it's always the second or third one. Um... It's gonna be a van with passengers um, in it, one passenger, so that's gonna be the right van that you're looking for. You're looking for a van with um, uh, TVs. Get out with no funny business. I don't want no trouble, buddy. Open up the bag. You got any flat screens? Hey, you got bad information, brother. Man, get out of here. So basically, um, remember that when this game came out, this was, um, uh, this was, uh, 2008. This game takes place in 2008, so, like, the thing is, a lot of people did not have flat-screen TV still. And, um, and so, when they, when these were coming out, these were being, like, really hot on the market. So, like, you know, if a gang or a mafia could steal a shipment of, like, um, of, uh, flat-screen TVs, they could sell that for maybe even half the price because it's stolen and a ton of people would go and buy it. So that's why it's, um, really valuable to them. Everybody wanted high definition. Would you please move? Oh, this is a really bad place to stop right now. Get the fuck out of here. You're making a mistake. We're paying protection money to Kenny Petrovic. Show me you don't got any flat screens in the back. This is a big screw up. Wrong move, asshole. <laughs> So notice what he said. He said, we're paying protection money to Kenny Petrovich. Um, so um, I'll, I'll have a video talking about who Kenny Petrovich is later, but Kenny Petrovich is mentioned several times in the story in, um, uh, in GTA 4. He's a very powerful Russian mobster. Um, but he doesn't make an appearance in the single player. But he does make an appearance in the multiplayer for GTA um, 4. It's a shame they took out the multiplayer on PC, but what I'll probably do is... I'll, I will probably, after I beat GTA 4... I'll probably do the Kenny Petrovich missions, because in the multiplayer in GTA 4, um, uh, you play as a Russian mobster, and so you're working for Kenny Petrovich and doing jobs for him, and so I will probably upload those missions on the PS3 version once, um, uh, once I, um, uh, I finish this on PC. I'd really love to play the multiplayer on PC, but unfortunately it's down. I think it still works on, um, on PS3, though, so I should be able to do the Kenny Petrovich missions. Man, I, I love the driving in this game. Even though it's more challenging, I just like it because it's just so much more realistic. You actually feel like you're driving a car, not a toy. So we should be calling um, uh, Dimitri right now. Here we go. I've left the van where you say. How's Roman? He's okay. A little scarred, but okay. You did good. Mikhail needs someone like you. Stop by and see him sometime. And the thing is, now we can actually call Roman. Nico, hello. Roman, are you alright? I was just shot in the stomach and then stitched up in the doctor's office that was dirtier than the basement we were nearly tortured in. I'm great. You sound calm, actually. That Dimitri guy gave me some painkillers. What do you say? 
I'm kind of out of it. If you're near a shop, can you pick up some adult diapers for me? See you later, Nico. <laughs> so that's it right there. We killed Vlad, and now we're working for um, Mikhail Foschen. And the funny thing is, remember how Vlad kept saying that like Foschen saw me as a brother who'll get revenge? Foschen didn't even like Vlad. Everybody, everybody hates Vlad. Even, even Vlad's own boss doesn't like him. So, um, he didn't care that, you know, Vlad's, um, dead because now he has Nico working for him. With Nico, probably better earner for him than Vlad ever was. So, I guess we'll probably wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.